Do exotic fruits taste how they look? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Have you ever come across a fruit you've never seen before and you wondered what the meat inside was like? Oh, please do not refer to the inside of fruits as meat. That's gross. It's the flesh of the fruit. Please don't refer to the inside of fruit as flesh. Okay. That's well, what's, nasty. What's your idea? Um, the, the tootie of the fruity. Okay. Agreed. Today we're tasting wild exotic tooties and matching them to their wild exotic fruities. Yeah. It's time for Where's That Fruit From? It's Crazy Exotic. The colors, the seeds, they're almost hypnotic. Look at all these exotic fruits. There's six of them here. Oh. Boy, they really run the, the gamut. The whole exotic fruit spectrum. I can't imagine anything else fruit could do with itself. Yeah, I know. We're gonna eat the uh, tootie of these fruities and then we're gonna try to match um, the one that we're eating to the one that we're seeing back here. So and we're we gonna get have like two the, points the, if we do that. The inside of the fruit kind of like diced up so you can't see any of the outside. Yeah. Just, just the, the tootie, the just tootie. the tootie. And then that's two points and then we get a chance at an additional point if we can guess the native region using this fancy dancy this. handheld map. So you just take Hold it, it in your hand. If you think this comes from the sea, then you would do that. If you think it comes from Australia, you would do that. Isn't the, that fun? The winner is gonna be named Fruit Scamander. Okay. Let's get to bumping and rinding. <laughs> <laughs> so the first one is a bowl of stuff? It's, it's a like soup. The, the fruit turns into a soup? Yeah, it's fruit soup. Tootie soup. That is a that is a green gelatinous swamp. So it's basically seeds surrounded by gel. What? Almost like jelly. What? Oh, it smells like grass. It smells like freshly cut grass. Good gosh, it exactly does. It exactly does. <laughs> I never wanted to eat freshly cut grass. It's a bit sour. Yeah. Okay, so, you're gonna stab the fruit that you think it is. I mean, look at this one. This one looks like a, a, a blowfish. I've seen this one at the grocery store, I think. It's like the a only faceless one faceless blowfish. I've seen these falling out of lots of trees in the south. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a cockle burr. Yeah, right. Huh? 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 <laughs> um. Oh. Okay. Okay. What did you learn? Something? This, that's hard. Oh wow, that's soft. And then this. Oh gosh. Whoa! Oh, that. no, that's gelatinous in oh, there. Oh wow! Man. Oh, that's some. That's some. That's some hints. I mean, this is a. It's like a sack. I think it's a pillow. You ready to guess? Yeah. Here we I, go. I, I'm, Three, I'm ready to guess. two, it's gotta one. It's got to be this one. Uh, it now might, that we've touched it, it might be the. I would think this would have one pit in it. You know, like you don't want to change your answer. I would think this would have one pit, and this it would have a bunch that. of seeds that look like this. Could be that. Okay, so what you just had is called horned melon, and it's a fruit that tastes like cucumber and zucchini, and it's often eaten raw with a sprinkle of salt, sugar, lemon, or lime juice, and it is fruit number. Three. Yeah, horned, oh crap! Yeah, horned melon. See, it's a horned melon. And you're telling you didn't say it tastes like grass. Let's open what, this what thing up. What did you up. say it tasted like? Cucumber and melon. Cucumber and zucchini is. What, I'm expecting what this it thing to just like, explode. Oh, look at that! Would you look at that? And then I guess oh. you can just kind of squeeze one. Oh wow! You want to squeeze it into that? Well, it doesn't. You want me to help you squeeze it? So what you're supposed to really do is you slice it in half and then you scoop out the flesh. Yeah, like this. Oh. And but it says the rind, seeds, and flesh are edible. So I guess you could just. Oh really? The rind is edible? Yeah. I mean, it's horny. <clears throat> Does it make you? You horny? want to be careful eating that. It doesn't stink. Horned melon, you say? Hmm. Uh huh. So horned now you melon, have to guess uh, what its native region is. Uh, I have my answer. Okay. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking this might be like a Madagascarian. Oh. Uh, that's a good guess. I went with whatever that part of Asia is, going down into some of the islands. Okay, so horned melons are native to southern Africa. 
specifically Ooh. South Africa, Namibia, Botswana, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Mozambique, and Angola. So Link, I you, think you uh, got a, you a, a few of those point. countries. I in did. There. Yeah, I nailed it by mm. by wow. just complete chance because I said Madagascar. But I did hedge yeah, but my you, bets. But you got you got several other countries in there. Look I'm, at me. I'm I pretty think, impressed. Whoa, whoa, what are the whoa. chances? Remove the darts. Make the map smaller. <laughs> yeah. Let him let him move his circle around. There you go. Oh. One less to choose from should make it easier to Another eat. Another slimy one. This. Before you dig in. What? Just to let you guys know, there is a pit in there. It is edible, but I would just suck on it. So you're saying that big white thing is a pit. Correct. And it is edible. And it has been cut. It has been cut, yes. Oh, that snotty slime on the outside is very... Well, that's a weird flavor. And there's a... It's coating my mouth with a bitterness. It's nutty. It's it really... Tastes, it tastes like a nut. And that's where the bitterness is coming from. A bitter peanut. Oh, it's getting Very worse. earthy. Oh. <laughs> and now it's gonna dry. I think you'd wanna spit that out. I think wherever on the map this is, people are just spitting this out into the, like the... Um, the pl the places. Ah, uh, gosh, what is it? I mean, are we just gonna guess this thing every round? Look at that. Cause are all of these pits? They could all be little pits. Now I know what this is. A potato. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what it is? I, I do know what it is. You had this at your house? Not exactly. I have no clue what these are. Okay. Okay, it's time to guess. I have a guess. Here we go. I have a guess too. Three, two, one. I'm pretty sure it's, it's these hairy dingleberries. It's either got it's got to be either these or these because they're both small and have a big pit. Is my guess. This fruit is called mamoncillo, a fruit whose flesh is sweet in taste and gummy in appearance, and it's used to flavor soft drinks and alcoholic beverages. And it's fruit number five. Oh crap! You got it. I got it. Go ahead and pull that down. So. It it flavors alcoholic beverages. And what did you say it was called? Memoncillo. And so apparently what you're supposed to do to eat it is you bite into or puncture the thin skin oh, yeah. so it yeah. can be peeled back. Oh, it's like a muscadine. Oh. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? A grape. Well, a scuppernog. You guys know about these grapes? What are you saying to me? <laughs> yeah. Stevie does. So, I have no idea what you're what? say those two words okay. again. A in Muscadine North Carolina or a in the South and in North Carolina, you would just be walking in the woods and there would be wild grapes. And I think people do cultivate them into wines. But we called them scuppernogs, and they looked like this and they were grapes. They had really, really thick flesh. You can still get them in the grocery store here sometimes. And they're very slimy and the inside pops out into your mouth and they taste very, very specific. There's nothing else like them. I've They're never good. in my life They're really heard good. of that. But I wouldn't call them a scuppernog, I'd call it a scuppernog grape. It's a type of grape. Okay. Mm okay. Well, the place that I was thinking isn't on this map. Oh, you're thinking another planet, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, that can happen. Give him the Mars map, please. <laughs> Are you saying you were thinking Hawaii? I was thinking Hawaii, because I've been there, but uh, I couldn't find Hawaii on the map, and I almost thought it was New Zealand. Uh, I went with, but I didn't. Southern Mexico and Central America, in general, kind of going down into the top of South America. I went where you went before. Okay, Mamoncillos are native to South America, Central America, and yes. the Caribbean. So Rhett got the point. Specifically, <clears throat> Colombia and Venezuela, and the islands just off their coasts. Okay, well. Thank you. <laughs> what? Mm, a white plum tootie. And it looks like it was wrapped around what I would consider a inedible nut of some kind, because you can see like. Yeah, it's been removed. There's like a. It almost tastes like meat. The longer you eat it, the worse it tastes. I It's a bit disturbing. Didn't like it, and then I didn't like it a little bit less, and then I didn't like it a little bit less. Every time I, I made it, I might end up loving it if I eat the whole bowl. Oh, I started liking it less and less. No, I started like adapting to the taste or something. We're we're, we're drifting apart, right? Uh, yeah, and it all was a, it all came down to tootie. I know what I want to vote. I've got to guess. Three, two, one. Seems like this one would yeah. have a thing, but crap, that one. Well, who knows? It's so exotic. <laughs> okay, you just tasted rambutan. Oh, a rambutan! 
<laughs> I've a heard fruit of this. <laughs> whose grape like flesh can be mixed with salads, used as a topping for sorbet, or used as a sweetener for soups. And it is fruit number one. Good job, Red. Did you know that, or were you just guessing? I have never. Uh, again, we had these in North Carolina that didn't look like this that come from some tree. <laughs> yeah, and there ain't no fruit in it. It's just a nut. It's just some sort of seed. Oh, so there you go. So it's basically everyone oh. has this little peanut looking. Oh, look at that. Oh, gosh, look at that. Look at how fleshy it is. And then you can just squeeze that out, pop that out. This is like, remember the Bowie's Creek Elementary School haunted house and they used half grapes for eyeballs? Well, I never went in there. Oh, yeah, well, they could have used these. All right, I don't want any more of that. I'm gonna go map it, because I didn't love it. Are you still liking it more and more? Yeah, I do like it. But I noticed these exo exotic fruits are difficult to like get into, you know what I'm saying? That's why they haven't like been mass produced. Rambutan? Mm-hmm. You're trying to get a some sort of a, a hint from the from the name itself? No. Okay. Which would be smart. All right, you go first. I did this island region down here where you got Indonesia and you've got some South Asian islands. Well, I did the same thing, but I'm being more assertive with my answer, and I'm saying this is Thailand. I've been, I've been there. They have these, but they don't okay, have so corn. Okay, so you're circling the same area, but you're you're asserting two different specific countries. Is yeah, that what it's come down works. to? I'm, assert, I'm asserting my circle is in the right place. I'm asserting which is what Thailand, I was which I hope is do. in my circle. They are native to Southeast Asia. And I said the name was a hint because it's actually Indonesian for hairy. Huh. Oh, wow! So, so that's why I was like, "Are you Indonesian. asserting?" I did. So I did kind of assert in Indonesia, of but that's not the game. That's not the game. So no we, extra points for assertions. Okay, so you each get a point. We each get a point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not. Dr we're drifting back together. Yeah, we're drifting back together. You know what? We got Mythicon coming up. Yes, we do. And on Saturday night at Mythicon, we are taking the stage. We are doing a performance, the one-time only thing. We're, we've curated it just for Mythicon, and we're gonna do some things that we've never done before. We're gonna tr we're gonna try some stuff we've never tried before. But we have not curated just for the people who can be at Mythicon because this particular part of Mythicon we want to be able to share with you. If you're not able to come to Mythicon, we understand everybody can't make it this year, so. Uh, we are creating a live streaming event exclusively on Kizwi where you can watch the show. You yes. can be a part of the action of Mythicon through this experience that we have crafted. Get your tickets to see us live performing on stage at Mythicon at mythicontickets.com, all right? It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be crazy. The stuff that we're gonna try from that stage, well, we're never gonna try, done before. We're gonna try. We're gonna never try done before. This looks like seafood. This does not look like fruit. Yeah, it looks, yeah, like some sort of like uh, mollusk. Mmm, but it tastes good. What? It, it's the consistency of peach. But it ha it tastes like peach banana. It has a like a banana flavor. Do you not know like a very slight hint of banana mixed with? Mmm, that's this is one of my faves. Now I'm trying Could to get something so tasty come out of the ugliest of packages. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry to call you ugly, but I really want to get inside of you and see what's happening. Um, I love it when you talk to fruit that way. And then again, we only have three options now. Yeah, I mean, this should be getting easier. It should be getting easier. A three, two, one. Hold on, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it, 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 it has to be this one. Yeah, because you look at the the shape of it. Because it feels exactly like it's going to have that inside. Each of those things. That seemed like cheating, but okay. Well, you I, was just just, had, I was just delayed. Uh -huh. Mangosteen, which is a really right, cool fine. name. You know what? If, you, if that feels like cheating? No! <laughs> it's a fruit that offers a sweet tart taste with notes of lychee, peach, strawberry, pineapple, lychee. and caramel. And it is fruit number two. Oh gosh. Uh, you should have changed, man. C come on, Stevie. Why did you deter Do me? not put this on me. <laughs> wow. I was going for it. Now, this is very hard. Feeling that from the outside is very, doesn't seem like it's gonna, oh God, Lee. There we go. I'm gonna have to really, I'm gonna have to 
That's how you do it, right, Nicole? So cut it in half. Look at that. Like cut all the way around, so, yeah, so and then I'm you're gonna pull the two parts, you know, away from each other. So uh, cut it all the way around the center. Or that. That works too. Oh wow! Look at that. It's so well protected. It's like a garlic clove in there. What's a piece of a garlic clove called? A, a clove. A clove. It's it's a bulb. A bulb. Oh, a bulb. Yes. Um, okay, well, where is it at? Mango steam. Mm, this is tough. Okay. Well, I just stayed up here in the northern part of South America. Oh wow. Exactly my Oh answer. wow. Well look at us. We're wowing each other. We really are drifting back together. Yep. I mean I got a couple of more countries maybe. Okay, but you're both guessing like the same area for sure. I, I was gonna know, say I, Brazil, but I wanted to get I can more change. of I wanted to get more of North North South America. I can change mine, you know? Okay, so mangosteens are native to the tropical lands surrounding the Indian Ocean, like Southwest India and Southeast oh, Asia. That was close. So but you were closer. Do I we don't give get a point points for closer. We do not give points for closeness, Stevie. We, we don't give points for closeness. But I'll also uh, say, yeah, Stevie, for trying, because I think you both are in the same region of no points. Uh, that thanks to prehistoric cultivation, it also grow, grows in Colombia and Puerto Rico. So, well, I got but, Colombia. Well, that's not where they're native. No, nope, it's not. <laughs> it's not. And okay. we said at the top, native. Okay. 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 And finally, we've pudding. got some sort, like of, some sort of mush. This is baby food. This seems like something you would like based on consistency. It's that is such a strange taste. It's a taste that I've never tasted before. Like, there's I have points of reference for it. Like, there's a little bit of coconut at the beginning. That kind of changed to like, it's not too sweet, and it's um, it's a bit pasty, but it's kind of slimy like banana tutti. To me, it's like a banana that's been dipped in a flower pot. Okay, so y'all know what potatoes. Yeah, or this. Or this. I've been wanting to guess this all day, which is why I've done it multiple times. Well, as of you. I, I'm assuming you're going to do it right now because it yeah, has to be the three, right answer. Three, two, one. Mm. I mean, if it's not that, then. I have to hope that it's this because I just can't. I got to make this decent. Are you. You literally said, I know what this is. I know this is a, uh, a cactus bloom, but I've never seen the inside of it nor tasted it. This. This comes off of a... Okay, well, the fruit is number six oh. that we're talking about. But, Link, do you know what the fruit is called? Do you want to guess what that fruit's called? This one? Yeah. Um, sack of... Sack of goodies. Oh, look, I just squeezed it, and it just kind of just came out. Like, I just rip it apart. I didn't yeah. have to cut it. it just rip it. Oh, my. It is not sack of goodies. Good um, gosh. That is like an alien. It is actually called a sugar apple. A sugar apple. Yep, and it resembles and tastes like custard, apparently, and it's a great so great source of vitamin C. You can see why it hasn't uh, spread around the globe and is in every supermarket, just because I think a lot of people would be scared of it. Uh, that's why these exotic fruits don't like become hmm. very domestic fruits. Uh, great name, uh, too, sugar apple. Okay, got it. I think this is in the Amazon. I went with... Some India and some China. Sugar apple is native to the Caribbean and the surrounding tropical Americas. So neither point. Caribbean's got a lot of cool stuff, man. We should go. We should go. Man, sugar apple. That's great. I, I, you know, I don't really feel like I lost, but it's. I, I do know that you won. So get your fruits commander on, buddy. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Yeah. This Being is... able to just eat this exotic fruit and have access to it is a treat and a prize for everyone, winner or loser. Okay, is this what the fruits and commanders? Use, use, a, use an accent. I, is this, what is this reference to? Something. Eddie, Eddie Redmayne, what's that say? Exotic fruits and where to find them. <laughs> Ding! Is that what it does? It does. Ding! Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Nick from Louisville, Kentucky, and there is a blueberry on my shoulder. It's 
It's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Hey, be like Nick. If you find a blueberry on your shoulder, eat it. Okay? Click the top link to watch us judge books by their cover and give them a more. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. Get your ticket to see the live stream of us performing at Mythicon. Mythicontickets.com.